Howdy again, streamers. i got something today that uh, I found is a useful tool inside of OBS when it comes to just keeping everything contained and working together uh, as a unit. So when you've got some items that generally you keep them close together, uh, it just makes it so much easier if you can move them as a group. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you look on the uh, preview screen on the left here, you can actually see that I've got uh, a couple of things, elements here that we set up before in a previous video. Uh, and basically they would stay together normally. Now if you want to try something a little bit different and try placing something in a different area, you end up having to move each of those items individually. Uh, but what we can do is a cool new feature called grouping. So you can actually group a couple of these items together. So for example, let's use these ones to start with. So we've got what's getting played on Radiologic DJ and also the, uh, the little graphic that sort of says, hey, music and all that kind of stuff. So we want to select which ones they are. So we need to look at what we've got. So we've got the now playing and uh, we've also got the Radiologic DJ app. So for a start, let's probably put them close together. But what I can do here is I can also highlight both of those. So I'm using the command uh, key inside of uh, Mac OS. Um, so let's put those together. And then I'm going to right click and go group selected items. So now we've got a little down arrow which shows you that inside that group you've now got Radiologic DJ what's now playing and the Radiologic DJ app image. Okay, so we can call that... Um, now playing, that could make it easy to try and remember exactly what it is because that's the only thing that we are normally going to see. So what I can do is I can actually minimize that so you can just see, well that's now playing, now I can actually turn on and off both of those items or both of those sources that were actually inside there. So you can see that there, so they're both there, Radiologic DJ, the app and the now playing text, or I can turn it back on. Or you can also just turn off one or the other, either way. Okay, but the other cool thing about that is now that you've got that in a group, you can actually move those around. You say, well, I don't want that there. I actually want that up there. So you've decided to have a little move around and things go together. Makes it so much easier, right? Now, the other one that we've got down in this corner here in the lower third, I've actually got one, two, three elements all together. So we've got this one. Uh, we've got our brand and uh, we've also got our text which we need to keep together, so which is this one here. So let's drag them together anyway. And again, so we'll select all three. This time I'm just, what I'm going to do is try and click on the top one. We've already, the bottom one's already highlighted. Click on the top one, holding down shift, and you've got all three together. So again, right click and go group selected items. And we'll just call this one uh, brand. And that way we can we can do that. There you go. So there we can, again, you can turn it off, turn it on, you can lock it in position. So nothing, nothing can be changed. Or you can actually, again, move it around as a group. We'll put that over there this time. And we'll grab that group and we'll put it down here. So see how easy it is just to be able to group something together. One, it actually keeps a lot of stuff or a lot of sources out of that sources list just by grouping them together. It just makes it tidier on the eye so you know what you're doing to be able to turn things on and off uh, but also it just makes life so much easier when you're trying to move some things around or just have a little you know I mean every now and then you want a little bit of a, a facelift on on what you're streaming so it doesn't look same for your viewers you know but samey all the time so why not make it make it easy for yourself and this is just streamlining your workflow inside of OBS so very very simple and uh, very useful so I'm sure that when it comes to to mucking around with this yourself you'll find it just as easy as I have so well done guys uh, happy streaming and we'll catch you again in another video soon eh? cheers